The way you make your path undeniable is by feeling for it on an emotional basis more than thinking for it. You are where you are. You can be hopeful or you can be fearful. You can be hopeful or fearful. Now, so when you separate the reality of what is happening from your mood or attitude about it, now you begin to deal with things vibrationally, which is the basis of all things, rather than in terms of action. People will say, where I am is unpleasant. I want to be over there and then I will feel better. And we say, you have to find a way of feeling better or you cannot move over there. And people say, well, give me a reason to feel better and then I'll feel better. And we say, you have to conjure the better feeling. You have to, you guide with vibration and the manifestation follows the vibration. The you that is this eternal, emphatic, important, big vibration. And there's the you that's sitting here in your body, having whatever experience you're having. When you merge these two yous, the power of that alignment is such that then you can't miss what you see. If something is a hell yes, then follow it. But if it's not, if it's anything other than a, I really want to do this, then it's equivalent of saying hell no. If it is limp, if it is, if it could go either way, then you haven't done the energy alignment work that is necessary. It's like picking the fruit that isn't ripe and then complaining that it doesn't taste good. And we say, let everything ripen. And the way you let that happen is by working on the thought and getting into, getting it into alignment. Let your work be an emotional journey, not a thinking journey. Don't try to think your way to your projects or to your success life and the contrast is what's thrown all that over in vibrational escrow do you know that every day that you're living and you know what you don't want you put another piece of what you do want in it all of these pieces that you're throwing over there into this vibrational escrow are melding together the source energy you is becoming them and the picture is beginning to form and you don't have to figure out or dictate the path through which this stuff will unfold all you have to do is do your best to change out do your best to feel good do your best to appreciate do your best to feel as good as you can feel and what's percolating over there in vibrational escrow will say hey look over here and when you look you won't say oh I'm wondering about this there is no possible way that you are not creating wonderful things but there is a possibility of any of you being so tied up in the details of whatever it is that you are living that you're holding yourself vibrationally just out of sync with what is lighting up everything has the potential of lighting up and lighting up fast and what your life is supposed to be is just a series of saying oh that's the best idea I can find from here and oh that's the best idea I can find from here and oh that's the best idea I can find from here and what begins to happen is you begin deliberately turning in the direction of the thoughts that feel better and better and better is that the things that light up are bigger and bigger and bigger and more and more and more exhilarating as they light up life is supposed to be fun and will be it was never supposed to be a struggle so when you say I I can't tell which way decision to make what that always means is there hasn't been enough reaching for the thought that feels best to come into true alignment with what's already over there in your vibrational escrow do you believe us when we say that because of who you were before you were even born and who you have become as a result of the contrast that you've been living that there are things ready to pop that would just knock your socks off everywhere you on on every subject in the world what you're thinking and feeling and what manifests are always a vibrational match so if you wait until something happens before you see it we call that post manifestational awareness that's like it has to manifest before before you're able to decipher it but if you are paying attention to the way you feel you can decipher it before it actually manifests and that way you don't miss it 
In other words, by reaching for the best feeling thought on any subject, eventually you train yourself into such alignment with it that then you can't miss it. You get whatever it is that you want, just line up with the idea of it. And if you do the mental work, if you do the work of alignment, then the manifestation, the path through which it will unfold will be delivered to you. But if you get too involved in the details of how or when or who, then you get turned upstream on it, you see.